Let's try a slightly harder trinomial factoring question. Now we know that this is a trinomial, there are three terms, and the a value here, the number that goes in front of the x squared, is not one. So we're gonna use a technique here. But before I even use any technique, we always try to pull out a GCF. If you don't pull out the greatest common factor right away, you're making extra work for yourself. So step one, pull out the GCF. So let's see, what, we, what can we divide by to pull something out here? We can divide by 2. So we get 2 times 35x squared plus 68 divided by 2 is 34x. And then negative 42 divided by 2 is 21. So this was very smart of me to pull out the GCF. And now this part here is a regular factoring question. So let's focus on this part here. How do we factor it? One way to factor is to multiply the first and last, uh, this number times the last term. So what we get here is 35 times negative 21 is equals to negative 735. Now this number is kind of big, but we'll try our best. So we have negative 735 as our guiding number. So we're going to recopy. I'm just going to focus on this part only, the underlying part. x squared plus 34x minus 735. So we're going to re temporarily rewrite this as this in order to factor it. And the key is, how do we get the numbers 735? It's kind of a big number to deal with. And I want to find two numbers that multiply to negative 735, yet add to be positive 34. What I know is definitely not 1 times 735. I'm not going to worry about the signs for now. I'm just going to focus on the numbers. 1 and 35 added is not even close to 34. So let's try dividing by 5. That 5 at the end looks a bit suspicious. So using a calculator, when I divide 735 by 5, I get the, the value 147. 147 and 5, the difference, looks a bit closer to 34, but still pretty far off. So let's try some bigger numbers. The next number I'm going to try is dividing 735 by 15. So just playing with numbers here on my calculator, working towards progress, and I can see that each time I'm getting closer and closer to this value here. 735 divided by 15 is 49. Now when I look at 49 and 15, the difference, using a calculator, it indeed is 34. So let's fix the signs now. We want positive 34. So the stronger number, the bigger, the bigger number is going to be positive positive wins. And we need to multiply by a negative number to generate negative 735. So what we did here is, systematically, we found out what two numbers multiply to be negative 735, and what two numbers add to be the middle part here. So these are the special numbers we're going to work with. So this thing here becomes, let me just erase this out of the way, we're going to have x minus 15 and x plus 49. And the trick here is to remember what the original a value is. The a value is here, 35. Not 2, don't even worry about this. We're, we're only working on this little sub-problem. So as long as we promise to remember the a value here, we're going to divide by 35, that a value. So this is the trick to factor. And there's many ways to factor, but we'll just continue on here. We have x divide top and bottom by 5, we get 3 over 7. And then we're going to divide top and bottom by 7, which is 7 and 5. And then we're going to promote these denominators in front of the x. And so what we have here is we get this here is actually equals to, and I skip the equal sign here because it's not really equals, to 7x minus 3 and 5x plus 7. Let's confirm it. 7x times 5x is 35x squared. We have positive 49x minus 15x gives us 34x. And then negative 3 times 7 is indeed negative 21. So we essentially factored this part here as this part here. So if I underline it in red, this trinomial here is equivalent to this factored form over here. 
So when we're asked to factor this original expression, which has a 2 already factored out, and then the final answer is actually equals to 2 times what we just solved, the mini problem. 7x minus 3, 5x plus 7. So this here is the fully factored form. We have 1, 2, 3 different factors, including the number. So the common error here is forgetting to pull out the GCF right away. And yes, if you forget to factor the 2 out, you will come up with an answer. But those one of those factors, you can then pull out a 2 again. So it's better just to pull this out right away so you don't forget about it. So I recommend that once you find out, once you know how to factor, stick with your, the way that you factor and practice lots and just stick with uh, the way that you're good at.